What's up everybody, Steve here. Just wanted to give a little commentary behind our new album. And I uh, hope you guys pick it up on Monday. Hope you guys like it, enjoy it, um, listen to it in the gym. You know, we always like our high energy uh, tracks. I like that to work out to. So that's what uh, I always want to do, have some high energy on the album. Um, <clears throat> but this album, we legit thought we were going to put out over a year ago. And, uh, you know, we just got busy, had a little lineup change. Uh, didn't get to record the three or four more songs we wanted to add to the album because um, we're kind of even going in a new direction with our sound right now. Uh, so these songs have been in our back pocket for like five or six years now, a lot of them. And, uh, you know, it, 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 we realize, you know, maybe this is just the songs God wants us to put out right now at this moment. Um, and you know not feel the pressure of having to go into the studio and spend more money recording everything so it's only 10 tracks i um, hope you guys like it first song is called intro just reintroducing ourselves we have a video after this that we shot at my boy's studio rob martin um this song actually the beat and a lot of oh, half of the lyrics maybe were written by john ewan who's a pastor over at center point if you know him so he sent this song to me like six years ago and kind of the beat or whatever and i kind of took it Tweaked it a little with the band, wrote some of my own lyrics, some of his lyrics, mixed them all together. And uh, it is what it is. Um, my favorite line on the song, I guess, is I'm not perfect yet, still full of defect. Uh, giving it my best, Grace covers what's left because far from perfect, make a lot of mistakes, uh, do a lot of stupid things still. And, um, you know, continually keep trying to turn back to God and, uh, you know, let him guide my life. So, um, this song got a good flow to it, um, you know, some rapping, some screaming, uh, we can't even perform it yet because we haven't really practiced it, so hopefully soon. <laughs> the next song, number, track number two, is Can't Stop Now, and uh, Can't Stop Now, Chris kind of had this riff all the time in his back pocket. I think the day after he showed me the riff, I was listening to a sermon from my pa one of my old pastors up in Buffalo, and uh, he was talking about David and Goliath, and he was saying like when David was walking out, just imagine the music playing like as he's getting pumped to go fight Goliath, like the song just kicks in and it's like a march, like an army track, just just leading him out there, and that was kind of ins right when I heard that, I was like, man, that riff is David's song, like. So if you look at a lot of the lyrics, um, I kind of based it off of David and Goliath and you know how David just really had no fear. And um, <clears throat> my favorite part of this song and I think the rest of it as in the band is, you know, the bridge and the breakdown towards the end because it's kind of combating, you know, the culture and what people are kind of feeding us, like telling us what to wear, what to think, who to love, how to fight, how to live, how to die. and. Um, you know, a lot of times these people are always telling us what we need to do when, when push comes to shove, they ditch us in the end. Uh, so, you know, the chorus just says, I can't stop now or give up. I know who got my back, uh, you know, and with us in the band, you know, we really believe God has our back so we could face whatever obstacles and trials that are in front of us, no matter who comes and goes in our lives. Track three is Crash and Burn. Um, Crash and Burn. I wrote the lyrics to this song. It was the day before the Boston bombing, the marathon. That just hit home for me because I wrote these lyrics, you know, the suicidal bombers. They don't care about the innocent, you know. Um, and then the next day, something like that happened. I was just like, damn, like, you know, this life is so temporary and in the blink of an eye, it could end at any moment. So, uh, you know, that's what Crash and Burn is about just seeing all the things going on in the world and seeing that it's actually a lot of it is written in in the bible and scripturally um in christ we got no fears it says you know so like that track made a, started making a cool video for that um it's all animated taking forever so i don't know when that's going to be done um the next track is sounds of america and for this track i just kind of it was really just to build up American Dream, we have a cool video I made to that, um, and it's just sound bites from, you know, 9/11, sound bites from 
uh, terrorist attacks, shootings in our country and stuff like that, some of the riots and stuff. Um, and <clears throat> it's basically in those moments, you know, a lot of us walk through life not even giving a thought to God, but in those moments, you know, I recognize people are screaming, oh my God, oh my God, you know, or Jesus Christ, you know, everybody, you have them on your lips, you have them in your words, in your speech, when everything's going wrong, and uh, if you look at the video, it's me kind of looking at the world and everything that's going on, and then writing in God we trust all over my arms, uh, just because I think that's the reminder that America needs, um, you know, it's written on everything in our country, what our country kind of was founded on, and, uh, you know, I don't think we really trust him anymore. We just do what we got to do every day. Um, when something goes wrong, we do call out to him, but I think the focus needs to be calling out to him on a daily basis. So that's what Sounds of America is about. Just remember, you know, remember who you trust in every day. You trust in yourself or you trust in God. After that, is American Dream, Break Free. This song, uh, Nigel, yeah, Nigel wrote a lot of the Nigel Town to Guy. <laughs> he wrote a lot of the parts of this song too, um, originally. We obviously tweaked it, and it ties into Sounds of America where we just forget about God in those moments. Um, and if you look through some of our videos, we have each one of us talking about the significance of that track. Um, the song is just about, <sighs> you know, rebelling against the culture and what they're feeding us. And don't take your freedom and your safety for granted. Um, the next track, a little interlude of Billy Graham talking about the tongue because the song after that is Sticks and Stones. And, uh, you know, it's just talk Billy Graham's just talking about the tongue sermon I found real quick. Uh, we actually put it together last minute just to give us a 10th track so we didn't have nine tracks, but, uh, wanted an interlude to, uh, you know, speak to us because I think a lot of us aren't careful of how we treat others with our tongue and how we speak to others. Um, so, hope that speaks to you because Billy Graham speaks to a lot of people. Uh, the track after that is Sticks and Stones. We had this beat and I had no clue what to do with it. And then my friend, one of my friends, Jamie Carr, he wrote a poetry book and one of the poems I read was sticks and stones may break my bones but your words will just destroy me I think he wrote I don't know if he wrote destroy me your words will break me or something. sticks and stones may break my bones but your words will, maybe maybe they right just destroy me and I just remember like yo like that's truth right there you know a lot of us think like yo we're taught that rhyme at a young age like but your words will never hurt me but they do words uh destroy us, destroy our heart, destroy our minds, destroy our lives. So, uh, you know, this is probably the heaviest track on the CD. Me and Nigel both screaming on it. Uh, the same thing over and over again, but, uh, you know, I hope it gets you pumped up and, um, you know, I, I really like it and I like the lyrics, you know, six and stones may break my bones, but your words will just destroy me. So speak truth, speak life, speak love because your words, they carry poison. It's just a reminder to be careful how you speak to others, uh, people you care about, people you love. The next track is Comeback Kid, and this is, I always wanted to make a song for like ESPN or like FIFA video game or like just kind of sports background music. And uh, you know, a lot of times in my life, I just felt like everything goes wrong kind of and uh actually went wrong filming this we filmed this video a couple weeks ago and it was coming out amazing and then uh, if you've seen anything we we lost all our video equipment and footage like ten thousand dollars worth of stuff um so that stunk and the song is just about you know when you're down when you're out you know know that you can make a comeback when, when you're trusting in God and when, you, when you're when you trying to let him lead your life. Um, you know, we, go, we all go through tough times, hard times, and life isn't perfect. Life has not been perfect for me at all lately. Um, and so the, I, I just bumped this song saying, you know, help me make that comeback, God. Um, lyrics are, when I'm falling behind, I'm a comeback. When I'm losing my mind, I'm a comeback kid. When I'm going insane, I'm a comeback kid. And when you think you got me beat, 
I'm a comeback kid. So, song after this is I Don't Mess Around, track number nine. If you listen to the lyrics, it's really about walking in purity in your life. And um, every one of us in the band is not perfect in this area. Every one of us in the band has fallen, um, have not been, you know, men of God at times or, you know, holding up to our morals and standards as we should live. And uh, I really made this song not to say like, look at me, I don't mess with girls, I don't touch girls and stuff. I, I made it as kind of an anthem for, you know, anyone when you're struggling in those temptations and in those circumstances. Because um, trust us, we're all far from perfect in this area. Um, but there, there's been times when, you know, I'm in some tempting situations and all of a sudden I'm just thinking in the back of my mind, I don't mess around, I don't mess around, around, you know? And, uh, it's helped me get out of certain situations, you know? So I just hope this track is for that kid that, you know, it's just a kid, man, woman, child, anybody that's in that battle in that moment, like, what should I do here? Um, <clears throat> you know, because I've seen devastating consequences from walking in impurity and, uh, it, it, it sucks when you get tripped up and, and caught up in it. So it's kind of just an anthem to help. It helps me from time to time and to just help anybody, uh, you know, try and stay on course of, of who you want to be um, with your purity and with your life. Because uh, you don't got to listen to the culture all the time and how they tell you to live, you know. Because um, there's lasting consequences to all the decisions that we make with our bodies. Um, <clears throat> the last track is No See Feel Love. I just woke up one day with the chorus in my mouth like I want the world to know you, to see you, to feel you, to love you. Um, obviously Nigel could sing it because I can't sing it. You know, it's kind of just the anthem of our band and the message of our band. That's why it's the last track, like to go out on a good note. Um, just that you know, we want, this is what we really want. We want the world to know who God is. We want our friends to see him, our family to love him, you know? Um, and we all want to feel him, you know? So, hope you guys enjoy that track. Uh, a little reggae beat to it. Um, so yeah, album comes out on Monday. If you watched this, thank you. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the songs and uh, I don't know if you have any shows, but we'll see you at a show or let us know what you think on Monday. Peace.